Now, accessing potable water remains a major challenge to some public health facilities across the country. At some hospitals, patients would have to part with some money before having access to washrooms due to scarcity of water there. Well, the police hospital is uh, among the lucky few which can boast of regular flow of clean water. This, however, demands fending off outsiders from depriving it of the essential utility else that may affect its operations. As the world marks Water Day, Joy News' MFA Etiamwa Eli has been speaking to authority, hospital authorities and some patients on access to potable water at the health facility. Without water, then we, we have to shut down. We have to shut down because infections can easily be transferred. Uh, how do we wash clean our uh, equipment? How will our doctors, their uh, paramedical staff wash their hands? How will patients bath? How will their food be cooked? There will be many challenges. The Sustainable Development Goal 6 focuses on access to clean water. A 2018 progress report on this goal indicates too many people still lack access to safely managed water supplies and sanitation facilities. The police hospital, for instance, sometimes directly feels the pressure brought on by this lack as a result of its location. The public relations officer tells Joy News they've had to fend off outsiders to effectively manage the hospital's water supply. Communities around us have had uh, stressful experiences. And when it, come, it, be, it comes like that, we have to be very rigid, preventing people from entering to try and fetch water or anything like that. A visit to two key units of the hospital, which rely heavily on water review, the hospital is taking steps to ensure that none of the patients who visit the facility is left behind in accessing portable water. Serena and Cynthia are both mothers. Their children are on admission at the children's ward. Both parents have different experiences to share in accessing water at the hospital. Serena, for instance, believes the situation outside the wards should be improved. I think generally the water system around the compound is not the best, but within the children's ward, I think it's okay because since I came, the washrooms are running and even in here, the water is running. But I think it's not just about the water. It should come with some facilities like soaps, towels, so that when you wash your hand, you're able to, with water, you're able to wash it with soap and then use a clean towel to come and clean your hand. If I told you I've had problem accessing water since I came to this hospital, I'll be telling lies. Two sinks have been fitted at this ward to ensure easy access. Apart from the clarity, caretakers of patients on this ward say the flow of water is regular. The situation is not different at the maternity ward. New mothers describe provision of water at the ward as the least of their worries. Oh, the water is normal because uh, Monday it was hard for me, so I bathed four times, but it was flowing, so the water is, is cool, it's normal. If you go to washroom, if you need something to flush or to bath, everything is okay. They are flowing normal. The quality of water that flows, is it the kind you're okay with? Yes. It's easy leather with soap, so I, I'm okay with it. The supply, usage, and management of safe water at the Ghana Police Hospital can be described as the ideal situation which should exist in every other public health facility across the country to ensure access for all. For Joy News, MFA Atiyamo Eli, reporting.